Hello everyone. In this video, I like to talk about healing your chakras. Specifically, healing your chakras begins with healing your minds. It's our ego minds, our ego desires that create thoughts, negative thoughts most many of the times. Um, thoughts create words. Words create feelings and emotions. Words have monumental power to manifest, especially when they, when you speak with emotions. Words can lift hearts, cure sickness, bring prosperity, as well as complete destructions into any situations. Thoughts represent your internal world, your inner being. Thoughts are a veil into your soul, the true essence of you. Thoughts create perceptions. It builds image and mental pictures. It conjures assumption, presumption, hypothesis in yourself as well as in others. Deliberate thoughts are a form of expression of your will. Thoughts are reservoir of your beliefs, what you value, what you focus your attentions on, what you chose to keep, what you have learned and experienced in your life. Thoughts embellish and build memories. It builds up our subconscious minds. Thoughts are integrated part of you. It can control you or serve you. It can contradict your heart and your spirits. Your perception creates thoughts. You perceive through the way you understand it the way you apprehend uh, something, someone, some situations. You perceive through your feelings, your suspicions, your theory, your hunch, your pre-programmed, your cognitive sensories. The action of thinking, reasoning, contemplating, musing, pondering, considering, sensing, ruminating, reflecting, debating, speculating, celebrating, or mulling over, all of these create more thoughts. Most of your thoughts and your thought process are done by your lower mental body, your, your finite mind, which are linked to the throat chakra and the blue area of your aura, the ethereal, etheric part. It is the vehicle through which truths and insights come from the personal unconscious collective and from the working of the universe itself. When you have so much neg negativity in the way of your thoughts, your thinking process. It can damage or block or close up your chakras, um, especially your throat chakras. And the more blockage you have, or the more damage or close up chakra you have, it feeds into uh, your negativity. As you can see, it's in the circle. It uh, is an uh, infinite loop. To heal your mental body, you can, you can do it through healing your throat, your, your third eye chakra, as well as your sacral chakra. Because these three, they are paired and adjacent to each other. As you heal these, um, other chakra will start healing too.
and uh, you will come back and heal uh, these three chakras some more. And uh, it's a reiterative process. You can also heal by practicing to release and let go of all your negative thoughts, your negativity, and vacate and empty your mind through meditation. Um, you can uh, do yoga pose exercise to help open the chakra area or um, do more exercise, singing, um, speaking truth. You can also heal um, your mental body uh, together with your emotional body um, because thoughts create emotion emotions create more thoughts and the more you can let go and forgive forgiveness is very important because it allow you to release the guilt anger fear and all those lower uh, vibration emotions out of your system and um, to also to um, learn to stay in the present moment because the moment that you thinking about the past experience it's then all these thoughts come into play so you just have to break the chain that's it. Um, thank you for watching and um, have a good day. I hope you enjoy the video and find it useful and helpful to you. Um, love you. Bye now.